Aloha, I'm Brooks Onishi, Senior Loan Officer with Loan Depot Hawaii, and today we've got Lauren. Hi. Lauren, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lauren Kawaha Queen. I am a real estate agent with EXP Realty, and... And so much more. So much more. <laughs> and, and... She's a mouthful, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I, I can use that, that phrase. No, you know what? Yeah. Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I can edit that one out. Edit out. Um, She's a well, uh, You know, um, I I think you're definitely Portuguese. I'm not actually. I'm Czechoslovakian. I'm Czech. Yeah, okay. And Irish. Like, we're all Irish. All Hawaiians are a little bit Irish. The really? Steelers. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get an education lesson today. I mean, I think. And then Chinese and Hawaiian. So he means Portuguese, like I like to talk. Well, he does too. So. Yeah, yeah. It's I think it's kind of like another uh, synonym for a uh, local. Local talk story. Yeah. Go all over the place in one conversation. But I can follow. Yeah. Yeah. That's Portuguese. Okay. Okay. Um, so speaking of Portuguese. Yes. Uh, there is something is called karaoke. It's not really a thing, but I made it a thing. Well, no, that. Like that didn't British. Make sense. No, it's so in the car. Okay. I just for one minute a day, I try every day. Okay. I just sing along with a random song and I film it and put it on my Instagram and I call it karaoke. I, I've seen it. It's. It is, is what it is. Is that what's kind of? Uh, I'm it, known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird because I was trying to think of a creative marketing thing that was different. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, <clears throat> a friend of mine, Kale, he's Hawaii's only. Have you seen that, the knives and everything? Yeah. So um, he was like, well, what do you do? Like, what? And I was like, well, I always see in the car. I did this one video and show people were responding. He's like, try and keep doing that. Keep doing it, yeah. Yeah. And then I did a hula video and that got like lots of views. Nice. Two during Ray Monarch. Did you see that one? No, I didn't. It was like teasing. Yeah. It was like teasing all of us girls that like think that if we had run for Miss Alahopula that we, we would have won. won. Yeah. So nails. <laughs> so, 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 see her feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happens in the back? Oh behind my, the stage? No, at every that's why it's terrifying. I give those girls so much props yeah. because every household in these islands and elsewhere that our Kula dancer family are just critiquing. It, anyway, it was a video of that, uh, me dancing Kula. And so he's like, well, why don't you do more Kula? And I'm like, ah, I don't know, plenty Kula dancing, you know. You're not feeling the vibe right now though. Yeah, yeah. so. Because you, you grew up dancing? Yes, Okay. since I was little. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm retired. <laughs> retired. Yeah. Okay. Um, but so I just tried to do the, the singing thing and I get a lot of people watch it and react and like Mostly I'm positive. For, some wise guys or Oh yeah, sometimes. Well like, sure, because you're funny, so it's I mean I don't know that yeah, I don't know that everyone thinks I'm funny and it's it's weird because a lot of people watch it and not a lot of people, you know, react. But I kind of want to be like, why are you guys watching it if you don't like it? And if you like it, So you know what you can do? Like maybe a random highlight when you pull up who looked at it and never respond. Oh, that's blowing up the spot, though. <laughs> it's like a roulette. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I can't take that. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody would look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all stop watching it. No, it is it is funny, though, because I think no, maybe people hate this. But no, a lot of my clients liked it. Yeah. So they are the ones that I was, you know, that's who you want to market to. Mm -hmm. So since they liked it, I was like, well, oh, I'll just keep doing it. And it's fine because I don't know if I'm going to do reggae or Hawaiian or country. It just depends how you feel when you get in the car, whatever vibe you're in. Yeah. And the one that I made a reel out of it was um, Sir Mix-a-Lot. I saw that one. See, but that, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's because that was good music and it's kind of like, there's not really that great music nowadays and that oh, yeah. was just like taking it back well that's the song that i feel like we all knew so many of the words yeah, yeah. but you know it's funny is my 14 year old she knows all the words that's it's not necessarily the best like uh well, there's so much more like i like big butts yeah what I, what's it called baby got back yeah baby got back yeah 
Shout out to Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, so, how long have you been doing that? The car thing, only like six months, maybe. Um, and then I keep it, you know, in the highlights. Yeah. So, I just pop it into the highlights if anyone wants to watch all of them. They can. Greatest hits. <laughs> greatest hits. I'm be singing along with the radio. You should do that. The greatest hits. Like, uh, do a poll and see which one's your favorite. I bet you I, get another I could, You know what? It's so funny because I, I haven't ever really been asked about that the way you're asking me. Yeah. I'm kind of ashamed, with, but I really do like doing it. So maybe I don't know. You should. Sure. You know, and I think I'm at the stage in life where it's, if it doesn't bring you joy and passion, then. No, that's exactly yeah. it. Like, I felt like I was getting to the point I had a pretty hefty workload mm -hmm. and I was stoked about it like even though interest rates were rising I had a lot of clients and I started to take myself a little too seriously yes you yeah. know I think I was really like a great realtor I think I am you are I am. sure you are I mean yeah. I am, but <laughs> but no I think I am but, yeah. but you know what I mean like yeah. keep it light yeah it's, it's kind of like we grow up and you lose the kid inside of you that yeah you know, then you gotta relate to kids. And you have any kids? I have one. She's fourteen. Nice. She's. My daughter's fourteen too. Really? Yeah. Going into the ninth grade. Yes. Oh, me too. Yeah. Where's she going? Dream House Charter School in Abu Beach, yeah. Kapolei. Nice. It's a good school. I haven't heard of it, but I'm sure it is. It is. They just got this like twenty-something million dollar grant to build a mixed-use three-story building. In Abu. In Abu. Avalon development or something. Okay. I don't know how they got it, but I'm just well, saying. Well, I have to, um, I want to learn more about the charter yes. school because I don't understand what they do versus like a public school versus It's a, a entirely school. different curriculum. They still have to do testing, but yeah, well, we can talk about it. Oh. My, my stepmom was a charter school principal too, before that. I'm just saying. Not only are you Portuguese, but you relate to everybody. You know what? I hate it when when people say that to me because it just sounds like I'm mean dropping <laughs> constantly, and I I guess I do. That's okay. But I don't mean to be. But I guess it's something that I need to work on. Yeah, there's Thank always you. there's if, always if that's something that bothers you, then it doesn't have to bother you. Well, and you said work, so you work workload, and recently, um, were you talking about real estate or real estate? Yes, okay. yes. So um, how do you get real estate? I've been in real estate over a decade now. Decade? Ooh. You could say 10 years. Decade sounds old. Well, I'm not young. And he's older. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> um, no, but so I was, my daughter was three. I had worked in different jobs. I actually worked for the Super Ferry. And then um, I took a What's break. Her name? She was. The Alakai. <laughs> she sailed. Good one. I never heard that before. I did. Nice, yeah, nice. I heard that. Um, no, so I had my daughter and I stayed home with her for a couple years and then, you know, the bills don't pay themselves, so I started waitressing. Long story short, one of my waitressing customers gave me her card from First American. I had four interviews to become a receptionist at First American, got promoted to escrow assistant, did that for a couple years, then I moved into the real estate side, did transaction management, and I got my license. Mm -hmm. And then I continued to do transaction management and escrow with my license for several years. And I did my own, I did my own purchase, I helped some family, but then for the most part I did referrals, yep. and then I worked my full-time job. Too. Oh, you're still. I was still doing restaurant. escrow. Oh, no, escrow. no, no, no. Oh. I left the restaurant to do escrow. Oh, okay, okay. I get but it. But then I, I worked full time in escrow and I would do referrals. So I get that, you know, 25% commission. So you could do, um, you could have your license and do escrow at the same time. Yeah, it's not a conflict of interest. Yeah, yeah. Where I was on the realtor and lender side, there's. Yeah. There's you can't do them both, right? Um. No, I'm not in the scene. I think it's scene. it's generally it seems kind of frowned upon because you're too close to really right. influencing, right. you know. Um, but so you've really got a 
unique set of experience and skills? I would say so. I just let my notary expire so that I don't have to be the one that they call, you know? Oh. Your family. When, yeah. you, when you're the one in your family who has your notary. Well, it's like being a mechanic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you go at his house. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's good that your family has documents to notarize that often. Sounds like they're... I mean, not all documents are good that need notarization. <laughs> We're Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> but don't uh, fake the fuck. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm uh, born in Hawaiian. Are um, you? No, I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay. So, Direct escrow, me. realtor. Yes. In between transaction management. Along yes, the way. so escrow, then transaction management. So they, um, and then I got my legs, my, my, my dad passed away. So I took a break mm -hmm. to get my license for a few months because being a realtor seems so easy. I'm glad you said that. Thank you. So what prompted you to have that, that thought about being a realtor and the um, ease of it? So I didn't realize when I got my job at, in escrow that I was joining a very busy escrow desk, mm -hmm. which means you're doing a lot of transactions for a lot of loan officers mm -hmm. and realtors. Right. Um, People don't realize that because like the refinance side. The refinance, so every time the interest rate drops, you know this, mm -hmm. then the refinances pick up and those are escrows too, right? Those all need to be insured. And so my training, doing that, and then managing, you know, 20 plus transactions as a transaction manager um, for these realtors, I saw what all of the realtors did, mm -hmm. how often they had to correspond what how relaxed most of them looked when they came to signings and it's not as if it's not work but most realtors act like it's hard work than it is straight up sorry well, I, they're, <laughs> it's my opinion they're, as an agent they're trying to present value right well it is yeah and i think that there is definitely i mean you you took the test you're a realtor the yes. threshold is not very high uh, yeah. No, to pass. It's right? not, well, so, and so the funny thing is, none of that is actually related to what you actually do. No. As a realtor, it's actively not. selling and representing clients. No, it's not. It's it's mostly just law. <laughs> and it's you mean the test? Yeah. 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 It's a lot of the laws, and those are totally important. Knowing how to read the contract, write the contract, but the day to day stuff of real estate is really learned on the job. Totally mm -hmm. escrow too, but it's people skills that are actually, the soft skills in real estate are the most important. Communication. Communication, mm -hmm. operation. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so where are you at now? So now I'm a solo agent. I was on a team for nine months, oh. eight, nine months. That was an awesome experience. I had never really been part of a team. I trained on a team okay. years ago, um, a very, very, busy team um but now i'm solo okay. which is awesome and it's also kind of scary yes yes it's sure. kind of scary because it's like <clears throat> i'm my brand it's kind of like you you're on your own now too like going out on your own fully independent right yeah there's I'm, a little bit of safety with the team i would imagine there's a safety and then there's like a mixture of skill sets. So you're kind of like offering as a package, like this person has this strength, this person has this strength. And now I have to employ, like, I know I come off as playful and kind of like jokesy, but I have to, I have to intentionally like switch into like serious, serious. mode. Yeah. Because when it comes down to negotiations, like offer price, comparative market analysis, there you go again. No, but seriously, <laughs> like people, it's money. This, that's the it thing is. about this industry that is challenging is, I shouldn't say it's easy. Once you know what you're doing, it's not hard. I it's think. not rocket science. It's not rocket no. science. But you are dealing with the most important thing that most people will buy or yes. sell. Yes. And most people's nest egg and and potentially their future. Their future, yeah. their children's future. Um, so, 
you know, you have to take it seriously because it's serious. For sure. I think that's, I think in my shoes, that is the one thing that kind of my biggest burden exactly. um, is knowing that I have. So majority of the real estate transaction mm -hmm. is depending on the loan. Right. Right. So really, oh, yeah. you're waiting for the loan. If somebody came in with cash, I mean, you guys would be able to get all the escrow things that you need in order and it's a two week close, potentially, right? I've seen a three day close. Okay, see, yeah. it's getting worse. It's crazy. So they're waiting that much longer just for the loan. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, it, you know, I've done a lot of transactions over the years right. and it's not easy. Okay? No. Especially when you get super busy, you know, everybody makes mistakes. I'm not perfect. Um, I don't expect anybody else to be either, but no. it's just one of those things that I could never really leave work at work. Right. If something was wrong and I couldn't resolve it that day, like I carry that to the next day. It's not like you can just turn your phone off and go home, you know? So I worry about my clients getting the house that they want. Right. And if not, some of them are having to be out, they're cutting it real close on, right. you know, transitioning over. And yeah. And then everybody seems to look at as, um, the lenders mm -hmm. oh, yeah. for, hey, what are we waiting for? And even if it's, it's other, yeah. It's so as far as like the clients are concerned, a lot of times uh, they're so stressed out, right? And I don't blame them, but it, it looks like I'm the gatekeeper of potential. I something. would agree. Yeah. yeah. So, so I've never been on the lending side. I've seen it a mm. lot because we work so closely together, escrow and, and lending, and also re the realtor mm -hmm. and the lenders too. Um, but I, that actually brings a, up a question. So you know, in the big boom, mm -hmm. everyone kind of pushed to thirty day or sooner close. Yeah. From 45, when I started, that was always it was industry, standard yeah. for in, industry standard was 45 with like a 10 day unilateral extension, mm -hmm. and it went to 30 days with some not even having an automatic extension. But yep. you, hopefully, you have trying it. to get that 15 day in there, so you still kind of have 45. Yeah, so year. you're still at 45, but um, it really kind of tightened your guys's time frames. It did. it did. So, no, it, it leaves less room for. Error. Right, and you know. buffer. But that's the thing too, there's so many people involved in one transaction. It's not, I mean, it's like trying to orchestrate the circus. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, and yeah. you know, so I, I think it's, my experience has been to uh, try to set expectations early. Yeah. So I typically like doing initial consultations in person. Yeah. Uh, COVID kind of changed that, but I'm getting back to it. And these podcasts are kind of helping me with that too, just like. Yeah face-to-face -face interaction, having to just talk and... Uh, well, you know, the, I mean, I learned this from the team I was just on too, is these long form videos, mm -hmm. people get to know your personality yeah. better so they can see, I'm not gonna swear, but they can see if they mess with you. You know, if they jive with you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, jive, that's a good word. Jive is <laughs> a good word. Yeah. But to see if you're somebody that they could, you know, talk to every day for kind of, as long yeah. as they're looking for their house or, you know, understand the language that you're speaking. But there's there's some fear in that too, right? Like, if I have to put myself out there. So oh, that yeah, that's the, I'm terrified right now that you're hating me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate not me. Not all of them, just one <laughs> just, of those cameras. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, <laughs> not you. You like me. No, um, it is. It, you're putting yourself out there and um, hoping that people will want to work with you. It's a very competitive industry. It is. It is. Yeah. And there's not a whole, there are a lot of very qualified and accomplished lenders, realtors, mm -hmm. escrow officers in this industry. Um, with many years of experience, and it's really a difference in personality a lot. Once you get to the top, I say 20, 10 percent. They're very competitive as very far competitive. as the company and resources, yeah. and then it becomes down to the individual's Everything, yeah. work ethic. And yeah. yeah, I agree, I agree. So what's on the horizon for, you just got to EXP? I did. Okay. So I'm super excited um, to be at EXP. There's a lot of agents are joining EXP because of They're the growing. rev share. Yeah. yeah, so it has a revenue share model. You know, Hoi is, um, did I move in the desk? No. Hoi is um, known for, or he's my friends. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, yeah. and literal and oils and vitamins. Wait, does your Instagram have that link tree and it's all like All my MLS? Yeah. No. No, no, no but I, I mean, in my group of friends, and to be honest, me too, I've bought like three of the big packages for different ones. But you're supporting your friends. 
Well, yeah, but then you also buy into the dream, right? Like at some point, I haven't done that in a long time because I realized like I'm just yeah. using the, these face washes. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because you buy it. <laughs> I'm not selling anything. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I knew that that wasn't for me necessarily, but rep share and the multi-level aspect of exp realty is different in the sense that we're selling something everyone's still gonna buy mm -hmm. you know that the only thing that might inflate the price is the market it's not an inflated mlm product yeah. right so it's not a I, I i hesitate to say anything bad about any company because i have friends that do well, this for every so let's company. talk about the positive thing right yes um so my thought on the outside looking in is, it's not like as a realtor, you're charging more than the typical transaction, right? Thank you. Okay, so yes. they're still getting the same value, but there's more flexibility on the realtor side right. to help make things work, right? And there's, well, yes. So EXP has a ton of tools that help realtors on the back end that you wouldn't see as a client. Like software resources, stuff like software that. resources, just all of their brokers are super, super awesome. Like right. that, I've met like really, really awesome people on the tech side. They're super, um, they just have a lot progressive. of resources, progressive, yeah. yeah. And they grew so much during COVID because they're cloud based, uh, meaning there's no brick and mortar unless you start your own office. So that 20% or so, like the so the the it's, brokerage fee they're saving an overhead basically they're saving so they can, overhead uh, and then pushing it up up line so that you're actually that's the rev share see i don't know if you can follow my whole hand it's going all the way up but that's how you know that's how it is that that money that would normally go to supporting the, the branch, overhead yeah. and the branch um and the owner of the branch uh is getting redistributed amongst the people that you're, are over you in the... They're working above you, kind yeah. of... Your sponsor, that's what it's called. But that's okay, because what benefit do you have being in that position? Like, let's say you're the last one to, to sign up or the lowest on the total right. goal. It's still beneficial for you, then... Uh, yeah, uh, no. No, yeah, I'm right, telling you I'm not telling you. <laughs> Thanks, I suck it in. Everybody posture, okay. Now, what? <laughs> <laughs> so... You as the let's say the newest agent coming in, right? Is that still better than maybe the traditional realtor model where you just come on as a realtor associate? I say yes. Okay, so I happen to join. I'm gonna pick up the people that I'm joined under. So there you go. I joined under this Wahine woman, um, Alexa Rosario in Florida, because I saw an interview that she did with her sponsor mike sherrard who i had met pri prior to that um in canada that's the other thing about exp is it's national and international um he is a youtube sensation yeah. and trainer he has purple lamborghinis which is funny i love mike hey, that's, that, that's long people colors right there oh right yeah. so you should get one too it leads purple okay. yeah so he has these purple lamborghinis it's like kind of part of his brand um, but Alexa, she she offers so much value to me since I chose her as a sponsor, and then she offers what he offers her as the wolf pack in the training. Wolf so, pack. Yeah. What is wolf pack? Born, it's a wolf pack. Okay. It's a wolf. That's, that's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm excited to go to the EXP convention in October because I get to meet the rest of the wolf pack. But what I'm seeing is she actually has a sales funnel program for her website development for anyone who joins her team and prior to her being at EXP she had like over a thousand realtors in her Facebook group mm -hmm. that she would help with those processes anyway wow. at the previous brokerage that she worked for. So that was her ad, value add and that's what Value add and also I just found the agents um, to be super just helpful like so you know, we got, kind of got a little like cockle, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, and you know what? So, if we could say just a little bit, it sure. kind of it fit for me because it felt like the same vibe that you have with you know, Zasha and Tadeva, you mm -hmm. know, these people that I met in Maui for the uh, real estate investing side, yes. 
because everybody is um, wanting to help each other win. Yes. And that's the vibe. That's the vibe, and I, I didn't always feel that in the industry um, through the years. There's some competitive. I'm very competitive. Like, yeah. I am very, very competitive. Runs in your family, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're, it's, I mean, I'm not the best athlete. My youngest sister plays soccer professionally. Professionally? Yeah. Wow. But I taught her how. You can, I'm just kidding. you can see her under the table. <laughs> no, she got better than me when she was like seven. <laughs> but um, but we're yeah, we're competitive, awesome. you know. And so, I'm not afraid of that. I think you know it's good, but there's a difference to being confident and competitive and like yeah, and uh, I don't know knowing when to. Yeah. Yeah, you don't. I think there's more than. You know. Uh, the, the abundance mindset. Abundance. The abundance mindset. Yes. Yeah. We were listening. We're taking affirmations. Um, and you know what? I 100% feel the same way when it comes to like the REI, real estate investing community, um, which is something that I've made a big shift to mm-hmm. kind of just immerse myself into right. as well. And, and I don't know if you've noticed that, but I think that's kind of where I came along and intersected with you on social media is because those people that I was connecting with and we followed each other yeah 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 um, and Kenji is probably the first one actually Kenji's uh, awesome I think it came from Kenji oh really yeah um, it's how I found because there was uh, oh he reposted or we were on yeah because we I was going together. down his rabbit hole of watching his videos and progression of becoming you know really yeah. good at the podcast and all that stuff and so yeah um, so it Ken- was Kenji yeah okay was Kenji's your fault <laughs> yeah no he's he's awesome um yeah, I was the oldest on that team that I that I left. So I felt like a dinosaur, and it was just amazing. Um, yeah, and you know, you learn from all of your mentors, yeah. but it's humbling and actually a really good experience. That even Sasha, I don't know, Tereva, I think she's probably younger than me too. Uh, yeah. You know, they have the same heart. Um, I've connected with um, Tereva and and most recently yeah. Sasha too, and. That's what I like about them. It's, so awesome. They're just like genuine. Yeah. And, and they're successful, but it doesn't get to them. Ha. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so I'm, I'm so yeah. glad that you're in that, that same they're space. They're so solid. Well, I just, yeah, you know, we kind of all discovered each other. These are small islands. Yeah. They're small islands. I think the energy attracts the same. Yeah, yeah. And there's so much I have to learn about the real estate investing side. And when people ask me recently, honestly, so many of my friends have asked me recently about it yep. because it looks like I'm having fun. Probably when I was just sitting, riding around in my car singing. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> but um, but it is fun. It is. I do think anyone who's interested in it should really call me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, but. <laughs> Yeah, call her. Call you gotta call her after that. You don't know how many times I'm gonna remix that one <laughs> clip right there. It's a gift. A gift. A gift. gift. It's a gift from me to you. It's a gift. Um, no, but I really do. You know, the, the the cool thing about EXP too is you can create a team, or you can have people that you uh, mentor under you. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like they're they're not working for you. You're just like helping you're, them to like, learn. Yeah. You know. You're not getting rich off them. It's not slave. Not sleep, but um, no. like sweatshop. Yeah. Just, yeah, no, no, no. And it, so, so I'm really excited as I'm kind of uh, building a team myself, taking steps to do that. Nice. Eventually, that's the plan. I have a couple people okay. who want to work with me um, to just share whatever it is I know. And yeah. then I, it really is like there's so much to learn about real estate mm-hmm. and it's always changing yeah, it is. there's opportunities in every corner of it it's just you kind of got to pick a lane yeah and get good at it what you specialize in you gotta, yeah you gotta master your craft you do you have to master your craft but what i'm finding like with the rei side is that it's almost like we're all like t- touching pinkies all of a sudden it is it and is it's like so it's cool to see it is such a community yeah it's really awesome like I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited. Like, oh, we're all kind of having the same yeah. like whole 
I'm, yeah, I can't tell you how glad I am that you brought that up. It's, it's been something recently that I think people, when they kind of look at the progression of my career, mm -hmm. they're like, what are you doing? Like, uh, you're a loan officer, you should be talking to only realtors. Right. Um, but it's so diverse and unique now, nothing's the same. You know, it's, no. uh, I definitely think it's going to continue to change. Yes. Um, and on the whole doomsday horizon, right. we could all be out of jobs because AI is going to underwrite loans and they're going to sell houses because they're going to control the market. Don't buy me South Africa. Oh, boy. Oh, I go for the AI. Okay. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, no, seriously. Okay. Uh, but um, yes, continue on. Sorry. Well, I was gonna what I want to do is touch quickly on, is there anything that you want to focus on in your career right now? Is there anything that you want to say or ask or what's next? And mm -hmm. I have an idea of the resources that I have that might be useful to you. Yes. So definitely looking forward to talking about that and collaborating after. Yeah. Um, but what, what can I do for you or what, what can we use this moment to um, put out into the universe? Gosh, that's a so big question put out into the universe so really <clears throat> my the big dream is that I can incorporate all of the Aloha Aina mm -hmm. stuff my my family background and politics and just um, what we were talking about the continuation of my family's work doing like, the Aloha spirit stuff yeah um, and then my professional experience and see how those things can intersect. So really doing business collectively with Aloha. Yeah. Like, and not just the Aloha that people slap onto whatever they're selling, but actual Aloha. Also, people think Aloha is like, just so nice. It's not. Sometimes Aloha is like your grandma being like, eh, you know? Yeah. It's not, it's just, Aloha is like checking Aloha. yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Kapu Aloha is a, it's a high standard of um, showing restraint and love in a situation that exactly. most likely would, yeah. Yeah, and discipline that I think people don't necessarily associate with the word. So it's like a lack of over negative. You're taken away from what's a, something that could be negative, and so lessening it is showing Aloha, like restraint. Uh, yeah, I think, so pulling back on the negative, I mean, oh gosh, how do you say this? I think the word authenticity yes. gets thrown around, so it's such a zeitgeist kind of thing. It's Everyone like wants it. Uh, yeah, so authentic. <laughs> like, but I think true aloha is actual authenticity. It's very raw, it's very honest, and sometimes can make other people feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm because you say what it is, but the the other part is flipping the mindset, and you've talked about this before, of clients being afraid of money, mm -hmm. of, uh, thinking that it's hana ino to buy and sell aina, or to, it's um, bad, negative, yeah. to be bartering in land. I get some of those comments sometimes. Right, yeah. no, I do too. But how are we going to aloha aina, if you aina? That's why we educate them so that they can right. buy right. their own. And it, I think it's just getting past that. It was ours. Right. right. So there's the so there's the victim mentality, mentality yeah. which is not to discount that no. people can. There's some healing that still has to go on with it. That's well, all. Yeah, I think that as a people we are. How do we get on this? Well, anyway, um, but there is. Yes, so using those tools yep. together and then creating multimedia experiences for people to understand that stuff yes. and using it as also as like educational, educational platform. Yeah. And then also, okay, if you're gonna ask, the reading I'm rainbow. Tell you, the reading okay. rainbow. No, <laughs> but my dream dream yep. is to have uh, real estate agents in every Ahupua'a in the Pai Aina, so every district of each island um, who are born and raised in that Ahupua'a mm -hmm. who can help to educate about what was here, what was there. Nice. And um, I know it's like grandiose a bit, but I don't care because there's going to be people from those places that do it 
But I feel like if we came from a group of us came from the same yeah. like place of wanting to just not being steward. Yes, being, being stewards. Steward. Yeah. Yeah, not to scold, especially like Malini who move here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's educational. It's it's educational. It, yeah. And also, you know, I find working with clients who are moving here from the continent. They would like to know they how to be more do, proper and etiquette. But it's not just how to be more proper, like they sometimes they don't know the right questions to ask. Yeah. And so for us to offer yes. some background and information, which families are from this area, like they love it. They do. It's it's history and that's why a lot of people will take vacations to cultural destinations right. to hear the rich stories. Right. Right. And so that, that education part mm -hmm. works into the real estate investing community as well. Yeah. And that aloha is really what is present there. It's yeah. it's Oh. I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, this is going to be well. We can actually because I've got a camera over there. So um, tomorrow, nine a.m. out in Waiwa, uh, we have Zasha and Fuzzy doing a meetup, and it's kind of cool. It is short notice, so the real cool thing about it is though it, it it really comes full circle and it's the, all the paths have crossed because. Zasha and Fuzzy are highlighting another realtor's project. That realtor helped this family before their house went into foreclosure, so pre-foreclosure, helped them out of that bad situation. Then, in that time period, worked with a loan officer that realtor sent it to his loan officer, who coincidentally is one of my coworkers over here, and he helped them build their credit to the point where once the house was completed and renovated, they were able to sell the house back to them so the family was still able to keep the house in the Ohana. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so touching story. Tomorrow in Waiwa, 9 to 11, um, I'll post this on social media yeah, and then when you see the long form, it'll be passed, then you can go look it up. Yeah, you're gonna have video of that now. Yes, I will, yeah. I will. That's, so that's the, one of the cool things too, is once you know how to do this stuff, you can get creative yeah. to help people save their family property. And and it's one of those feel good things that everybody's stepping in. So like Zasha and Fuzzy have no kuleana in that project itself, right. except for that is the type of heart and mentality that so we solid. need more of. Yeah. yeah. So I um uh, yeah, I'm really well I'm glad you're going. And uh, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come well thanks for posting it. Social media. Social media. It's not all bad. Don't scroll for hours and hours, especially when you're sitting in the parking lot waiting <laughs> to leave your parking yeah, spot. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Anything over five minutes is frowned upon. Thank you. Well, no, but we're going to add that clip in when we edit oh, this. Oh, okay, later. okay. See, so, you know, we're talking yeah. about, well, seriously, like, though. But, um, no, I'm super, super happy to connect with you guys. And I just think the more that we... Kuka, kuka. I don't know why I'm throwing in so many Hawaiian words, it's, but you know what I'm talking about. It's because we, yeah. Yeah, okay. is um, it's just going to further the education and then also the ambition. Because once you see you can do it, mm -hmm. then you're like, well, why don't I do it 10 more times? Yeah. Or and 100 seeing, more times. Also seeing other people, like, if they can do it, I can do it. Well, that's the thing, too. So starting in escrow and transaction management, I worked with the top realtors. So that's what the very the, top realtors yeah. in it wasn't as intimidating anymore with luxury and high volume like and i've you know it's not rocket science but, but they put in work. the work it's discipline yes hard work. it's discipline hard work consistency and it's who you know and you know i know a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> you do well, I'm just kidding. so i'm fortunate to have connected with lauren and thank you Apparently, we have a lot more to talk about that we can't fit all in this one episode. Basically, I get to come back. Yes. Um, no, I'm not inviting myself, but... <laughs> no, don't worry, I got the hint. So okay. You can come back. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, I appreciate you coming up here to talk story. Thank and you. And we are going to talk more story about this, uh, the different topics we didn't get to touch upon. And Raj. let's do some, put up a little more content later on. Sounds awesome. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Brooks. Wait, do we call you Brooks? 
Um, if you like me, you do. Okay, wait. Can you did, have you already said how you got that name? Because it's so unique. My dad's name is Brooks. Oh, okay, so you're a junior. Nope. Okay, no? We got different you're names. the fourth. I, okay. I have my mom's last name. So, uh, oh. my parents separated okay. early. Okay. And you gotta stay tuned for the rest. Okay! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Check your warning. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, bye! bye.